Hey guys, welcome back to fmhtutorials.com. This is part three in the dubstep feature we've been doing this month and today I'm going to show you how to make what I've called a power lead but essentially it's just a kind of like big sort of kind of thick chorusy sort of lead really with a bit of pitch modulation um, to give it that nice kind of attack phase. So let's create a new sound in FMA and head straight to the operator section and I'm going to be using operators A through to F for this sound and also going to be routing the sound through operator Z which is the filter so turn that on as well route that to the output at 100 and let's start with operator F route this into the filter at 100 full volume and going to take the ratio of this up to 2 and going to make it a sawtooth wave and I'm not going to key sync it actually so yeah um, next up is operator E. I'm going to route this rather than going straight to the filter, which is Z. I'm going to route it into F. Oh, sorry, I'll give you a play of F so far. It's quite a simple sort of turn that cut off up. Just a saw wave, really. Right then, E goes into F at about 23. So already it's kind of, kind of helping the tone a little bit. I'm going to make this a sawtooth as well. Giving it, making it a little bit more raspy, and um, keep the ratio and everything else the same for operator E. Operator D is going to root into F as well, but I'm um, going to go a little bit higher this time. 52, and going to make D a ratio of 0.5 just to bring the sound a bit kind of deeper in sort of tone. And going to key sync that and make it a sawtooth as well. Next up is operator C. That's going to root into F again. 38. And this is going to be a ratio of 0.25, which again is just bringing the sort of the tone of the sound a little bit lower, sort of deeper, more bassy, I guess. Key sync this and make it sawtooth. Next up, operator B, again into F. We're rooting all these operators through F just to sort of distort the tone of the sound, I guess. Uh, Going to go higher this time, 67. Just kind of really helping shape this sort of sound now, really. Um, operator B, it's going to be 0.5 on the ratio. We're going to go for a soft state waveform key sync it nice tone we've got going now um and finally operator a i'm going to route this into f uh around about 49 and going to make the ratio 1.5 and it's going to be a sawtooth key sync So that's the general kind of like tone of our, our sound coming together there. I'm just going to do a couple more things in the FM matrix. I'm going to route operator A straight into Z as well around 60. Just bringing a bit more sort of that sort of kind of higher sort of waveform into the sound really. And I'm going to route operator Z back into B at 17. just kind of dirty in the sound and E and F I'm going to root into themselves F at 16 and E at 14 and what we want to do next probably is go over to the master section increase the voices to 5 push this detune slider up to just past halfway so around 56 and the pan, pan out these voices as well so give a bit more width on the sound so push this up to 64 okay so next we can just bring some analog and digital quality into the sound so push the analog slider up to 74 
and digital up to around 55. Okay, let's move to the cutoff section next. Just pull the spread down to zero and this resonance of the second filter down to zero. Because that was just giving a bit more, sort of too much distortion in the sound really. And push the resonance of filter one up just ever so slightly to around 53. Okay, next we can move to the envelope section and just back this attack off slightly. Or we can actually link all of these envelopes A through to F. Just back it off. So it's kind of just a little bit more subtle on that, the sort of beginning of the sound. And just pull the release out a bit. So not getting any sort of click on the tail of the sound. Um, next up we can move over to the effects section. Put a shelving EQ in there. Just boost some of the tops ever so slightly and push the volume up to around 65. We can put a flanger in next and keep the rate of 50. Sync it, make it static so the the kind of the sounds not fluctuating around too much and just pull, pull this dry wet down to around 15 not too just picking up the sound a little bit uh, I'm going to add a bit of reverb as well pull the time down to around 36 push the bright up to about 60 Travel up to around 60, 64. And pull this dry wet down. Don't want it too wet, the reverb. So around quarter of the way up, 50. Okay, so the final thing with the sound really is probably one of the most important things is this pitch modulation. So on these operators, by default in FM8, they're all being sent to the pitch envelope. So make sure they're all checked and that's Let's set up an envelope here to just give us that kind of nice sort of pitch modulation. So for starters, that's the envelope. Let's take this amount up to 69. So this, whatever we do down here in this envelope section is going to have a larger effect on the sound. Um, and let's tempo sync this, this pitch envelope here and click and drag and zoom in a bit and take this level here and move this over here so it's just past the 5 over 16 okay and let's control click to give us another sort of envelope pointer in here and let's push this right up actually now we've set this pointer here let's put it onto fixed mode so that doesn't move around um, and then push this right so just before the 1 and the 1 over 16, push this right up here. We've got that nice sort of pitch modulation now. Maybe this decay here, just pull this, it's a bit more curved. And that's it really, I think that's the last thing with our sound, it's sort of that quite cool sort of thing to do with the kind of pitch envelope there, just shape the sound and just give it that nice sort of like, sort of pitchy quality on the attack phase. So yeah, that's the sound really, kind of pitch, well I've called it power lead, but it's you know, just a sort of big kind of dubstepy sort of lead really, so yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, then please get in touch. And hope to see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.